One of the uh, fun things I get to do is to introduce a colleague of mine. We were just comparing notes. I think I've been in this industry 28 years, and I said, I know that, that you got me beat because you have less hair, and uh, I was right. Uh, Ryan Derberry has been here for 30 years, not here necessarily, but in this industry. He is one of the most respected. Um, when Brian is at a national meeting and he talks, he is listened to. And uh, that's because he has great ideas and uh, he's done a phenomenal job here in Charleston. So I'd like to have to make uh, some remarks to us, the president of the Charleston Metro, Metro Chamber of Commerce, Brian Derberry. Brian. All right, Bluegrass State. We are thrilled to have you in Charleston, South Carolina. And uh, we're excited about the record number. And uh, I tell you, it's such a privilege to be able to follow Bob and Alan and Jim. Uh, just the leadership attributes they shared about what they hope you to accomplish over these next few days is outstanding. You got a little piece at your place. It's um, entitled Charleston Success Ingredients. And one of the things I'd encourage you to think about over the next two and a half days is what are Lexington's success ingredients? Uh, one of the things that I've come to learn after being in many different metro areas over the course of my career, it's not so much your ingredients that matter, it's how you combine them and the people in this room, how you leverage them together. Uh, I'm extremely impressed with the number of elected and public sector leaders that you have with you. Uh, that speaks volumes about your private sector, public sector relationships and the fact that you're in it all together. And, and when you flip inside that piece, I'm just going to take a couple minutes to um, talk about some cool things you're going to see over the next two and a half days. Uh, one of the things that we're very conscious of is what kind of people are we keeping in Charleston and inviting to join us in our journey? Uh, we're adding 48 new people a day in our metro area. We're the 17th fastest growing MSA in the United States. And a lot of that's due to Mayor Tecklenburg that you'll hear from shortly, great elected officials, great private sector officials. And keeping up with that growth is a, a demanding task for all of us. Uh, one of the things that we really value is our brand. Um, and Condé Nast values it too. Uh, the last five years, they've recognized us as the number one travel and tourism destination in the United States. And three of those five years, we've been number one in the world. So um, a lot of people end up saying Charleston wow when you share where you're from. And I think a brand is invaluable in this day and age because we've gotten so small as a globe that you, your brand precedes you. And uh, it's fun to champion that brand and make sure we keep it front and center. Job creation, we've got a great job engine in our marketplace. Uh, we're going to be adding 20,000 net new jobs in the next 18 months. And since 2005, our three-county area has been responsible for 39% of the jobs created in South Carolina. So uh, we, we like those other 41 counties in the state. They're important. And this is the job engine. And you're going to get to hear a lot about that over the next few days. And it's not only jobs, it's the right jobs. Um, science, technology, engineering, and math jobs, engineering jobs, and uh, thrilled that you're going to get to see Boeing South Carolina. Uh, that's a special tour. Uh, we were just out there this morning with a number of European journalists that have come to look at what we're doing with that aerospace original equipment manufacturer. Uh, this past year, we've just added Mercedes Daimler and Volvo to our advanced manufacturing mix. So uh, we're, we're really fighting many weight classes above what we weigh when it comes to advanced manufacturing. We've got a very diverse economy. Um, you're going to get exposed to a lot of that over the next few days. And we've got a real global focus. Uh, the Brookings Institute just looked at 421 MSAs in the nation, and we're in the top 10 for future foreign direct investment. So as those companies build out their supply chains, We'll have more European and Pacific Rim businesses coming to our area. Uh, you got to get out on that harbor today on our special amphibious bus. We built that just for Bob Quick. Um, glad you enjoyed that. Uh, that harbor, by the end of this decade, will be at 52 feet. It will be the deepest harbor on the eastern seaboard. 
Uh, we're currently setting records as the busiest port in the country. And when we get to 52 feet, those big supermax transporters coming from the Panama Canal will be their destination of choice. So uh, a lot more on the international trade front with the deepening of the harbor. A uh, great planning. Um, John can remember this. I wasn't here, so I can't. Um, 25 years ago, our naval base closed. We had the third largest naval base in the United States. It impacted 22,000 jobs in our metro area that went away in about 18 months. Uh, when a lot of communities face that, they have one or two directions they can go. One is you recreate yourself, the other is you wither away. What that allowed us to do was to begin 25 years of planning, to have one of the most dynamic economies in the United States. We just issued our fifth five-year plan. It's called One Region, a global competitiveness strategy that's going to take us to the next level. So, uh, and oddly enough, Joint Base Charleston now has 22,000 employees. So I think we, we did okay in recovering on the military front. I'm excited that you're going to hear about how we're growing homegrown talent. Uh, we're not a big believer that you can just depend on attracting talent. I'm glad your school board is here. Ray Daniels, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> we're fired up to have so many of your education leaders in our community. We have the only four public school system career academy program in the United States. Uh, we've got 62 career academies, 14,500 students, 160 business partners, and we just, we just conferred 75 two-year scholarships to Trident Technical College for young people that have a 2.0 to 2.9 GPA. 71% of them will be first-time college attenders and their family. The goal in the next five years is to triple that number. We want young people coming out of our career academies to be going to Trident Tech, becoming valuable employees for our employers in the region. Last but not least, um, I know it was hard for Laura and I to hear the comments about Mother Emanuel. Um, one year ago, the conscience of our community was tested in a way that still resonates very deeply with us today. Um, I'm so pleased that you're going to be able to go and memorialize the Emanuel 8. Uh, when you, you, you face a situation like that as a community, uh, your, your soul is tested. and. Um, I have ministerial members in my family, good ministerial friends across the country, and um, the continued comment was, we don't know what's going on down in Charleston, but we hope the rest of the country catches it. Um, so we're, we're very proud of how our community responded. Uh, it's a tender subject till this day for Mayor Tecklenburg, me, and every citizen here. So you're gonna see what Charleston strong really means. Uh, we're thrilled to have you in the low country and we hope you have an absolutely super time. Uh, I understand this is your third trip. Uh, we'd love to have you come back. Um, so any way in which we can help you while you're here, I know that Linda and Bob will let our team know. And again, welcome to Charleston, South Carolina.